Hey guys, welcome back. Jerry once again here at Hilltop Firearms Training Center, Dover, Tennessee. Thanks for watching. I've said this before in the past, but sometimes my, my interacting with, whether it's a customer or a student, sometimes lends itself to give me some pretty good material for a video topic. And today is no exception. Uh, a few days ago, a gentleman came up, he was doing some shooting, he come to just rent the range and just do some practice and he he looked at my holster um, and he said ah Glock huh I said yes sir I said I've been carrying Glock since 1995 I said they they always work they seem to run really well and sort of one of one of the guns that I pretty much prefer to carry on a daily basis and he says I never could shoot them Glocks I can't hit the broad side of a barn now you put a sig in my hand I hit just about anything I aim at. I said, huh. And off he went, and you know, it was cool. We, we talked, nice guy. But I got to thinking about what he really said. He, he stated that, uh, you know, if he put a Glock into his hand and attempted to shoot it, he just was not a good, accurate shooter with a Glock, but yet he could pick up a SIG sour and he could shoot it really well. And I thought to myself, you know, is it possible that the ergonomics on, say, one brand versus another can affect a shooter's ability to shoot that pistol accurately? Well, yes and no. Um, while there are handguns that will fit certain people's hands a little better than, say, brand X, it should not really affect whether or not you are an accurate shooter, unless the pistol is just so poorly designed, it's not reliable, uh, it's some whatever it might be, accuracy, if the handgun has everything that it needs to have on it correctly, accuracy should not really be affected, even though the shooter may not prefer how the handgun feels in their hand. And I'm speaking, I'm speaking just regarding ergonomics. Um, there are certain brands that I can pick up and I'm like, mm, I just don't like the way this gun fits in my hand, but yet I, I feel like I can still send rounds to where they need to go by simply looking at my front sight and smoothly pressing the trigger, whatever kind of a trigger it may be. So when he said that to me, I, I started thinking, well, you know, is, that, is there any relevance to that or is there any truth to that? I really don't agree with that. Uh, I can't shoot brand X, but brand Z is great. My point is, like, certain people prefer certain vehicles, okay? They like a Chevy, they like Ford. Whatever the vehicle that they, they particularly uh, prefer over another vehicle, you may get into, you may be a really big guy, and you get into a really small economy car, it's a little rental car, and you've got to move the seat back and adjust the steering wheel, and although it's not your cup of tea, it's not what you would actually own to have as a vehicle of, you know, because it's something that you would prefer, can you not still drive the vehicle? Or, or, or are you just driving down the road hitting guardrails and you're just all over the road because you just can't drive it? And, and I thought about that because when I thought of the, the concept of ergonomics and how a handgun may be designed. There are certain brands that people bring up. They'll, they're ta you know, they'll take a class with, and you know, they'll say, oh, "I think my sights are off," and I'll take the gun and I, I try to the best of my ability. Whether I'm not familiar with that trigger and how light or how heavy it is, I will try to smoothly press the trigger and look at my front sight before, during, and after the shot. Send the round where hopefully it needs to go, and I'll think, "Man, that sucker hurts when you shoot." There are some brands of handguns that I have shot. And I'm talking like not cheap uh, handguns. I'm talking about like upper tier guns that just have certain areas when you when you fire them, they they seem to uh, you know abrade the skin. They may hit certain areas of your hand, and I'm like, wow, oh, that's not exactly a comfortable handgun, but I can still shoot it. So w when people make you know, like a statement like, well, I'm a Ford man. I get that. That is a preference. But you can still jump in a Toyota and drive it. So <laughs> when it comes to, when someone says to me, I can't shoot that particular brand like a Glock, but, you know, you give me a 1911 and I can shoot it. 
okay, 1911, thinner, single, you know, single stack for the most part. Most of the 1911s have a single stack magazine, a little bit thinner grip. The, the trigger is a very smooth, crisp, straight back press, whereas it's not a hinge trigger, or it's not a striker type design, or it's not a single double action pistol. Uh, yeah, you might be able to shoot one brand because you prefer how it feels in your hand and in your mind you think you shoot it better. But if you really know what you're doing and you simply apply two simple fundamentals, proper sight, picture, and smooth trigger press, you should be able to pick up any handgun and shoot it effectively. Guys, think about that. Uh, I'm not trying to stir the pot and cause any drama, but it was something I thought of the other day and I thought I'd share about, you know, share it with you, see what you think about that. Uh, is there a brand that you shoot better? Certainly, there is one that I shoot better. If I pick up my favorite handgun, hands down, since 1995, has been a Glock 19. Now, I've carried a Glock 26 when it comes to for concealment and it comes to, you know, compact and easy to carry, but a Glock 19 to me feels like the most perfect handgun in the world to me. But yet, can I pick up a 1911 or a Beretta M9 or a Sig 226 or whatever and hopefully and effectively try to put those rounds where they need to go? Yes, I feel like if I can drive a stick shift as well as an, uh, as an automatic and I drive a very small economy car, but when I get in a huge pickup truck, yeah, Everything's a little bit different. I'm sitting higher, um, sitting a little bit straighter up because I'm not in a little car, but I'm not all over the road either. Think about that. Guys, as always, we thank you for watching. We'll see you soon on the range.